If you're competing in Vex this season, listen up. These three tips will change how you play on match day. I've watched a ton of matches this season, so if this video is any help to you, then it would be greatly appreciated if you can like the video and subscribe. But let's get straight into it. So a lot of people, including me, all kind of agree that this is a fast season. It's a fast-paced uh, match, right? But you want to be patient in this season. This kind of sounds counterintuitive, but even though this is a fast game, don't rush it. Sometimes the smartest moves are waiting, right? Bait your opponents into thinking that you're going one way and then strike with a clean D score. So let's actually watch some of these examples, right? So I have an example for these three tips. I have an example for each of them. So we're going to go into this first one. This is one of the Chinese matches I recently saw. And looking on this, right, we can cle uh, clearly see that that this red team is going for a D score. They want this D score really badly, right? And in this case here, they're not really going to be given this easily, right? There's not really a full goal here, and blue really isn't handling them a clean D score. But all they really have to do is wait for it, right? Later on, they do get this D score, spoilers. And all they have to do is really wait for it. Here, blue does get this full tube, right? Now blue's up on this tube. And there's not really anything Rick can do here, right? They can't really D score because blue's just hogging. And they kind of need something to happen, right? And this is where you need to be patient, right? You need to have good communication. You need your drive coach to actually call your teammate over, right? You kind of bait away. This is exactly what I was talking about. They leave. They make a they make a bait and switch here. They leave, and then they they call the, the their teammates over, right? They're like, hey, come over. We got to make this play. Their teammate comes over, and then they're, the blue team's not really expecting for it, right? They, they can't really do anything, right? And then they bam, they descore and they take control of this of the zone here. So that's huge, right? And I think that's a great showing of that strategy I just talked about. But one thing that blue could have done here is if they kind of saw that that red was leaving here. One thing they could have done is they could have descored red and cut them off, right? I think that this if is possible. They could have done this and then straight over to cut them off, right? Hit them, hit them with a pin and then cut them off. And that could possibly save them from this play. But yeah, pretty much the first tip is be patient, right? And fake some plays, especially for these descores. They are going to be huge. Okay. Second up, right? Like I said, last season already. Right, last season I said that that gaining control of of the match and being in control of the flow is huge. And this season, it's the same way. Right? It's the same way every season. So we're going to talk about how to gain control of the momentum of the match and kind of keep control. Right, we're mainly going to talk about keeping control of the match, momentum, and regaining control. Those are the more important parts. I feel like because if you have the upper hand and ready. You want to keep it. If you don't have it, you want to gain it. So here we go. This is probably my, one of my favorite matches ever, right? Finals three in Riverbots from spin up and we see 515R, right? Probably the most dominant team in recent history, right? Winning every single tournament in one season, except for Worlds. And they won Worlds the previous year. So here we are. There this robot here quickly shoving 100A up on this barrier here. So they pretty much disable one of their opponents, right? They're very up. They're very high. Um, they're, they're very up right now. Pretty much have one of their opponents disabled. The other one's kind of kind of getting getting over here to help their, their teammates out, right? Here, what a lot of teams would do is just keep scoring and then keep keep cycling, right? right? Re just gain that, that momentum and just keep going forwards, right? Keep going up. But what they do here is even smarter, right? They make it so that their opponents are just completely cooked, basically. Or what they do here is instead of going to to just leave their the, their opponents be, they're gonna they're gonna push even further. They're gonna they're gonna pin right. And pinning is I think one of the most one of the strongest things you can do as a driver. And that's you can do it when you're up and when you're down because when you're up and you pin your opponents right, they, they get really scared. This is a a huge mental play here on the on the on the blue lines here. Because because once you get pinned and you're down, you're kind of like freaking out. You're like, wait, like they can't just do that. Like they're up. They should be scoring. They can't just like pin you and put you in a in a lock. And then and then now now you can't score. They can't score, but they're still up and you're losing time. Right. That, like that. that's huge. That's a huge mental uh, deficit you're putting them in. And and then you also gain more time for you to think. Right. So that that, that that's the uh, the great thing about about this play here. Right. 
this is this is still really early on so you need to be cutting time off from your opponents right let me let me show you let me move this around this is still really really early on minute 31 so you need to be cutting time away from your opponents to regain control of what's going on the situation right so that, that's why you hit the spin right you hit this pin helps you think and then freaks your opponents out and the same way happens when when you're you're down right you want to hit a pin as well and you know why because because that makes that that gives you time to think as well right if you hit a pin while you're down you get time to think and and you can make a play right because a lot of times when you're, when you're down and you're kind of freaking out right the opponents have the upper hand they're kind of gaining control of the entire field and they're kind of leading leading you in in their game right and you want to you want to get out of that you want to you want to put put them in your game so then you want to hit them in the pin and then gain control and that's absolutely massive right that's that's great and if you can trap two bots in one corner that's even even better right and i think that's uh that case in this season can actually be kind of doable because with how how these fields are set up you can totally trap two bots in one in one corner here so if you're if you're down a lot and and you and you have time just hit a pin and try to trap two robots five seconds right you can completely uh, swing the tides by just doing that all right finally my last point of value is drive coaches can help you win matches right this is especially seen in an over under in this season because there's a lot of match loading right so one thing i noticed a lot of drive coaches do early on is they mainly prioritize their own match load tubes and their match loads right on over under they match they prioritize the tri balls right loading them in and this season i know there's a lot of dri uh, drive coaches this season just focusing on the robots right and you can see here whenever the blue robot comes to match load and he's just very they're, they're all very focused on on this right here even the even the other driver right this is all three members on the blue alliance here all focused while they could be de hitting a d score here that's huge right just 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 look at this every single one of them all of their focus is on this one tube here that is a very small area that all their focus is to while there are many many more plays that could be happening right this is the blue lines here so they can kind of back out hit these red balls out right huge huge point differential right there they can be stopping this red team from descoring this which might happen right no, no, another a point differential waiting to just happen they can come here hit these balls right that, that i don't think that's the blue robot but anyways the same thing though if this was a blue robot or they can just bring this robot over here hit these ball hit these balls right and make another point differential instead every single one of them are all focused on on this corner here which is not what you should be doing right this is not right so that's also one thing that i oh whoops i just pulled up uh something else but okay that's something that you should definitely tell your drive coaches to look out for, which is just you know, pay attention to the whole field, right? Your driver should also try your best to do that, but especially the drive coaches, right? Make some clutch plays, especially w with what we saw here in this previous match. I thought this was amazing, right? This is just amazing teamwork here, right? The drive coaches should be communicating with the other team, right? To make these clutch plays, especially in this season, right? You, you need these, <laughs> these like, you need this teamwork here for 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 these d uh, d scores. This is honestly a lot like last season, where one d score can cost the whole match. Right? This is very like the the, the neck plays and stuff. Um, one shove can swing the tide of an entire tube and win or lose you the match. But yeah, play smart, reset the match if you need to. Right, reset the match by hitting those pins and use your coach like a second brain. And yeah, good luck, guys. Thank you.